the trusted advisor would, would be somebody that you could call, you can chat to and visit and take counsel from from time to time. Accountants used to play that role a lot. And what we found was with legislation and the restrictions that, that have been brought in to comply, you know, a lot of firms have been removed from that role. We are at BDO repositioning ourselves back into that role where appropriate, especially for smaller clients, where we believe, you know, that's what it's need. South Africa needs employment. The employment is going to come from smaller businesses. And so the more of these smaller businesses that can grow and prosper and create growth opportunities and employment opportunities, that's helping to, to turn the country around. I have a slide, Anthony, which I'm happy if, if you put up, I could talk to it just to show the different kind of conflicting aspects that an owner of a business has to deal with. So here I've just got a simple slide that shows the owner. And the owner has got a family. He needs to look after his wealth. He needs to look after the security and sureties that he's giving to the business and manage those. Initially, when you start out, often you have to sign a whole lot of sureties with trade creditors. I mean, he's got to look after the education of his children. And if ultimately, he's got to work out whether he's going to sell the business or whether a family member is going to take over and succeed in the business. Ricardo will touch more on the aspects of the owner, but there's dynamics. His wife might be in the business. His family might be helping out. And all these things come into play. And as the owner of the business, have, a, have an impact on the business. The second slide is the business itself. Now, at BDO, we've developed the life cycle of a business, and it's called the diamond model. And what we say is a business starts with a dream. And then you initiate, you attack, you mature, you overhaul, you network. And then at the end of it, the business diversifies or dies. So we've got a life cycle approach that we apply to clients. And we have a whole lot of tools that we would apply depending on the stage that the client is in their life cycle. The business needs to be sustainable. That means it needs to operate if the owner is suddenly taken out or is sick or can creditors be paid? Then a business needs to make a profit. Raymond Ackerman always said, a business never goes insolvent with money in the bank. So part of our role as well is to say, how can we make the business more profitable and help them? And it has to have the appropriate structure. Often it starts as a single entity, but as businesses grow, you might want to put your assets that have got value, for example, a property into a separate company, it, you might want to introduce a family trust. There's a lot of talk about trusts and maybe Chris, some of the other panelists can, can touch on it a bit more, but we still believe that family trusts have a very appropriate role to play. And if they're properly managed and structured can save a lot of estate duty and capital gains tax. We also need to make sure that the owner has, you know, as, as the business grows, can delegate authority effectively and efficiently and has the appropriate staff. You know, bringing staff in is always a challenge. And then again, at different cycles of, of the business, you know, you need more staff, you've got to have skilled staff. And at some stages, like in the economy at the moment, you've got to restructure and we've got to reduce staff. So that's also very traumatic. And again, if you've got somebody to rely on, it helps. And the last circle then is the market. And the market is, a, is, is everything else, I put it into that outside of the business. In other words, what industry are you in? Your industry is your single determinant of your success or your failure. We can talk about the airline industry, which is very difficult to operate. And now those that have survived post-COVID, like Ryanair, have got bumper profits of billions of euros they've never had before. What's happening in your market? The market can also include the economy, the exchange rate, the interest rate, electricity and load shedding, and you know where you are located. You know, Have you got unrest in your area, service delivery? Etc. So these, these three elements all come into play. And often the owner of the business is stuck in the business, but the trusted advisor can help to link, you know, the family dynamics together with the market, together with the vagaries of the business, applying the knowledge that he has across all his, his business experience and, and assist the owner greatly.